welcome back. You are live with Expresso on this beautiful Wednesday morning as we now talk to the parents. He has a quote from me. When you are relaxed, so is the rest of the family. It is true. This morning, we chatted to our registered counsellor and good friend, Shanaz Moos, about the importance of self-care and why we all need to take time to unwind so as to keep a healthy balance between um, us and our partners, our children and our inner being. We need this, especially at this time of the year. Shanaz, always so good to see you. You look beautiful in our new setting as well. I, I'm loving it. It works. I think it's very difficult. Uh, look, let me start by saying everyone's feeling a little overwhelmed. I think after the, the last 20 months or so, everyone's feeling a little bit crazy, even more so if you've had children to take care of. Is now the time, now that we've moved out of like panic station survival mode, to start thinking about ourselves? Why is it so important for parents to take the time to unwind? You know, the, the thing with, with parents and unwind, that those two words, you know, it's like this weird clash because somehow, especially for moms, the moment you go to the bathroom, there's always someone needing something. <laughs> so even simple things like bathroom time and all of that, we never get it in there the full no way. We can't be present time. to enjoy anything because of what's been going on. But having our kids at home for part of the school week has made parents more stressed. <laughs> Um, and in terms of just finding ways to have more fun, I think that would be like the downtime and the fun time can often like be the same thing. Uh, for me, it's, it's getting back into exercise as my meditative space. Didn't realize how much I was missing it until I got back into that, that mindset. But I, I'm lucky in that my family is away right now and I still feel guilty <laughs> about spending time doing my own things mm. because I think as a parent that, that comes with the territory. You want to, and you almost feel duty bound to make them your first priority. And if I'm putting even my own health ahead of my kids, I feel like I'm failing. What do you have to say to the parents right now that are battling with that guilt of not being able to, to make themselves a priority? I think the guilt exists because we have this belief that our children are everything and we must give 24 hours a day of every day to them, to their well-being, mm. to their happiness. And, and to things that they are going to enjoy. But none of those things can exist with a parent not doing it for themselves. That your well-being, so taking care of yourself, your emotional needs, you know, your mental health, is all part of self-care. So the guilt is from be busy, be doing, be successful. So you, you think that if I'm just taking care of myself by doing nothing, that that's not being successful. I think that's the biggest clash with self-care self -care needs and self-care reality and where the guilt creeps in. It's, it's not a luxury that you add on right at the end of the process. It should be a fundamental. So now, right now, there, there's, there's a whole range of women and some dads rolling their eyes at us as they dress their husband, dress their kids for school, <laughs> pack their school lunch, get themselves ready for work as they're about to head out into the world. What do you say to the moms that are doing it all? Because I, in my experience, I think it is very difficult for moms especially because they have to multitask on a whole different level and they often are seen as kind of the first responders when it comes to kids. How do moms in particular find balance? So I think that just what you just said, the mom's doing everything, even dressing the dad yeah. from what I just heard. No, husbands so, need help, man. So in three weeks, I, I can't. I look at my cover and I'm like, what? Oh, I, I don't understand oh, what do I put on. Yeah. So my thing is that, do, that uh, delegate some of the child care and child responsibilities to your partner. That you shouldn't be doing everything, so that's the one thing. And also plan, like you can't, the morning is so crunch time that you are stressed and your goodbye to your kids are often in a stressful way or a negative way. So try to do some of the things the day before or smarter prep, um, just to help the morning crunch. And for the whole day basically, some of the things in your to-do list don't need to be there. Yeah. That's the thing that stresses most moms out. They have this long list of things every day. And if you reduce those things and take off unnecessary things, you'll have that extra five to 10 minutes for yourself. Yeah, just take a moment. I call it a hard and a soft list. Mm. A, a hard list of things that have to okay. get done. And then that soft list of things that, you know, if you get to it, mm -hmm. great. If you don't, not the end of the world. Now, in the midst of all of this, how do we find time for our relationship? Mm -hmm. That's the next conundrum. We are paying it back to ourselves this morning, giving ourselves, parents especially, a little bit of a breather. It's my feel good
such a happy intro. Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show, and that's the whole idea, to make you feel good. And we are chatting to registered counsellor Shanaz Moors about the importance of looking after yourself and how this can be definitely beneficial to your kids, especially when they're seeing you look after yourself. Now, Shanaz, I'm sorry for jumping in. I saw Graham did a part one, which covered very, very important things. You know, there is an, an overwhelming feeling for many parents at this time of the year, and also you're balancing all of the energies in your home, especially, you know, if you're a single parent, um, you know, there's a lot of things to juggle. I think what I, I wanted to touch on based on what Graham said earlier is actually to start off with the relationship that you have with your partner or spouse and making sure that the self-care is also the care for the relationship and not feeling guilty about it. You know, if you want to do the nights out, etc., that should be okay. You shouldn't be out there in the restaurant thinking, I left our kids with the babysitter. Are they okay? What's happening? How do we navigate that type of scenario? Yeah, I think with individual self-care, you also need to focus on couple self-care as yes. well. So like date night, date afternoon, date morning, I don't actually care which time of the day, just do it. Yes. Because when your kids are with you, it changes your dynamic. You are not this person and their partner, yeah. you are the parents. Yes. So when you're alone, try not to talk about the kids. So you need to be smart with, with, with your time alone and plan. So coordinate with someone so that it's a fixed monthly thing, weekly thing. And you, so you babysit your sister's kids, for instance, and they go on date night. Yeah. Yeah, so that you know that this is going to happen. And go to the restaurants you can't go to when your kids are with, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where they serve real don't, people Don't, don't get a table next to the jungle gym. And, yeah, like, and then miss them. So that's an important <laughs> thing that, you know, that the things you can't really do. Definitely. And just because deepening, deepening the relationship and strengthening the relationship strengthens the family foundation for children. So to see parents get along and have fun and laugh, it makes children feel good about themselves. It helps their self-esteem. So important for them. And also you model healthy relationships. Very true. So that's the most important thing. When you take care of yourself and you take care of the relationship, you show your kids that even though we're parents, we're also a couple as well at the same time. And, and with a lot of respect, and I think it's so important to show, showcase the respect in front of the kids as well. Um, I mean, the way you treat your partner essentially is the modeling of the way they're going to treat the world, which yeah. is so important as well. Uh, looking at self-care once again and just honing in, um, a strategy that I've heard about is actually including your kid into your self-care routines. How is that even possible? I mean, what type of routines are we talking about when we are including them in what is supposed to be, you know, us time as parents? I, um, I think that like outdoors, if you're going for a walk or you have, a, or you, your, your kid has a bike and you go for a walk, so yes. outside of the house, it's, an, it's, it's fresh air, it's, it's, it's getting away from everything that's waiting at home. So in that in itself could be a self-care. But don't take your kid with you or be with your kid when you're not in the space to enjoy the time. Yeah. Because it's definitely not going to be self-care. Um, and sometimes, you know what, just messing, messing in the kitchen, making yeah. cookies, that kind of thing. It's just relaxing for kids. Exactly. So it's part of, we want it to be some big spa day, some event, and then we deprive ourselves of a little bit of self-care every day. I had a mom climb into the bath <laughs> with her two-year-old. Um, obviously, she had a bathing suit on, but <laughs> she says that he was like, his bath time is his favorite time. And when she climbed in and she said, half an hour passed. And instead of her shouting at him, get, get done, get out, they just, as she said, it was like this eye opener for both of them. Yeah. So I know that's not for everyone, but just that simple act of, you know what, water is healing. So a bath for mom, 20 minutes, you know, favorite yes. music, whatever, that can be done every day. So it's, it's, it's up to you to say 20 minutes is mine. You know, I'm taking this 20 minutes so I can be a better mom, so I can enjoy when I open this bathroom door, I have a smile on my face, not like my dragon face is on. So true. And I mean, another thing is that, you know, when you are modeling mm. for your kids, as long as they're not saying to you, right, I'm taking my time, my 20 minute time. I'm not doing homework right now. I'm doing my self care time. I think it's important to navigate yeah. the scenario. And I think there are some great activities you can include them in when it comes to self care. Uh, not your threading appointment, perhaps, but maybe something else which would be fun, fantastic too. But Shanaz, thank you so much for, for helping us unwind and helping us uh, showcase the fact that it's okay to have self care. If you have kids, there shouldn't be guilt. It should just be you and your time and include them sometimes too so they can model that self-care upon themselves. Yeah. Shanaz, thank you so much. Always a pleasure. <laughs> and I suppose essentially what we're saying is don't be scared, all right? Don't be chicken, unless it's this. 